I'm Jacob Hepner, a four-time CrossFit Games athlete. I'm trading in my barbell for new skills and experiences to see if I really can be the Jacob of all trades. And it's all for a great cause. For every 50,000 views that this video gets, LifeAid will donate $1,000 to the charity listed in the description below. All right, today on this episode of Jacob of All Trades, we're gonna be playing basketball, but not just any basketball. We're gonna be playing wheelchair basketball. All right, we're here with Ricardo from Venezuela, my man. What are the goals today, Ricardo? What are, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get a good practice, okay. trying to get uh, you know some sweat going, uh, try to work as a team, okay. get together as a team. We play in the same regulation court. Okay. We use NBA size courts, uh, same height of the rim. Okay, same, ten foot. Yeah, ten, same ball. ten foot. Yeah, same ball. Uh, this is an international ball. Yeah. Okay. So the rules are pretty much the same. Uh, they're traveling. Okay. So you need to dribble the ball. Okay. If I have the ball on my lap and I take touch my wheels more than two times, so one, two, the third push is gonna be a traveling okay. violation. So one, two, dribbling. Get another push. Okay. Wow, okay, now, now he's just showing off to me right now. Like, <laughs> I can't do that on my feet. <laughs> oh, so I'm feeling like at the end of this, I'll probably be decent, but I'm not, you're not gonna recruit me on your team. I agree. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're new! What are you doing out here? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> He's moving well. He had a shot. He had an opportunity. But uh, he didn't stop his chair, so he was spinning. He was spinning as he was shooting. So it's, he wanted to shoot it here, but it was too late because he was doing this. So he had to shoot it on the side and then he threw an air ball. You know, for first time is horrible for most people. They don't know what to do, they, they, they don't move. But uh, you know, he's going up and down, he's cutting through the lane, he's taking the shots. See, he wasn't moving there, so it's an easier one. So when you shot it, he don't I just took it, I just took the <laughs> shot, man. The ball. <laughs> uh, well, I was shot in my back. Uh, it was a drive-by shooting when I was uh, 20 years old, 10 years ago. I was kind of scared because when it happened, I wasn't depressed, I wasn't sad or anything. So I thought it was coming, so I was kind of nervous about it. But it never came. You know, I always had the support of my family, my friends. Life goes on and you just gotta move on. Like sure. this wheelchair, like you just saw here, it's just, it's just an equipment we use for sports. I don't say much, it changed my life, it gave me life. Yeah. So I fell in love with the sport, the sport gave me the opportunity to play in the U.S. And I had the opportunity of playing for, the, earning the scholarship, playing for the University of Texas Arlington, graduated, moved to Kansas City, and uh, you know, I'm playing for the D1 team now, and it's, uh, it's just been amazing. I don't regret what happened to me, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change my injury, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, I love the way I am right now, I love everything that I do, um, you know, and, and it's, it's an awesome life. It makes me see things in a different That's awesome. perspective, you know. Right. If we're playing defense, and I guess Ricardo can answer this also, if I'm on the outside, I don't play basketball, nor do I play wheelchair basketball, so you're gonna have to walk me through all the sports right now. Okay. So I'm just picking someone to, to guard, and if they switch with some other person, I'm just chaining the same yeah. vicinity, like a yeah. zone. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got 30. Nope, I don't got 30. 30's out. Got 12. Ah! He's been trained. He's been trained. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, I got, yep, I got 24. Right, right. Oh, 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 oh. No, you can do it! Oh, I'm going out. Ooh, I'm not going out, never mind. Yeah, I'm staying in. <laughs> yes! I'm so bad at this. 
I can't feel my arms. Oh. Oh. Oh, can I not push people? Oh, good to know. Sorry, 15. Sorry about that. I was like, what are the rules? They're like, it's the same as basketball. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Now you're too tall. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this, I'll probably be decent. <laughs> oh, at least you hit rim this time, Jens. <laughs> oh, shoot, we're all over here. Oh shoot, we're back over here again. <laughs> Ricardo didn't tell me that my hands were gonna get roughed up. I figured you would know. All right, so first of all, what is this? That's my uh, national championship ring for 2017. Well, I had a full scholarship to play for okay. UTA, University of Texas yeah. at Arlington. Um, on my fifth year, my senior year, I uh, was team captain, and you know we were able to get the national Clinch championship. The title. Yeah. What about people that maybe are in a similar situation as you, or any of these guys? Maybe they're not the same classification as you, yeah. and they they don't know about sports. What would you tell them? How to get involved in a local wheelchair basketball league or anything of that nature? Like, how do you find it? Some people don't even know that's a thing. What I try to do always is spread the word, try to educate people, because I think people that work with physical therapy, uh, doctors, they all should know about these things. Um, in some countries, like the Canadian League, the German League, they allow uh, fully able-bodied people to be in wheelchairs, and they compete in the leagues and all that. And I think it's got to be changing. It's got to be involving more people. And I think it's got to be a good so you think for the it's sport. Good to have able bodied people I, out there competing with you. I think so, yeah. So, did my first practice. No, I did my first wheelchair basketball league okay. scrimmage. One to 100, how do you think I did? Okay, one to 100. One to 100. Now, uh, you can be very critical, it's fine. One to 100, you probably did uh, nine. <laughs> you mean a 90 or a nine? Nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> zero, zero nine, no, not zero. <laughs> All right, Ricardo. Thanks for having me out. Dude, you got a freaking sweet story. I love hearing it. I can tell Thanks, the passion man. in your voice. Even though you gave me a nine, I feel like we could be friends. Oh, no, and I, a nine's good. <laughs> a nine's good. You did, you, you, did, you did really good. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you watching. If you're interested in wheelchair basketball, even if you're fully able-bodied, like Ricardo said, and they're trying to get rid of the stigma, go find a wheelchair basketball league around you. I had an absolute blast today. Probably look like an absolute moron, but still, met some really cool guys, enjoyed it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, what's going on? And thanks for watching. I had a great time filming this episode, but if you guys can help us out by sharing this video, for every 50,000 views that this video gets, Life Aid will donate $1,000 to the charity listed in the description below. And if you haven't watched last week's episode, make sure you click right here. This one over here.